Get like an umbrella that like somehow slides into your pants and you can heat that one. That's a good idea. You have like a tube going up umbrella. and it goes like this. So it's like a cane. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> they have them for the mowers, don't they? Do they have like an umbrella system? I think so. I think Dude, if I had that, I'd that totally work. be up for this. Hey guys, just a little update. Like, as always, uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe and uh, press the like button. Um, today, this morning, we are dealing with uh, some rain and uh, it's probably gonna rain here for like an, about an hour. So we'll end up having to wait and see how it dries out over the next couple hours before we can go back out. We got quite a bit of rain in the last hour or so. So um, if we go back out and cut, I'll take you along with me and I'll try and get as much footage as I can. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so we're back at it. It finally stopped raining. I gave it a little while to dry out. Um, so we'll see what we can get done today. Um, it's possibly going to rain again in a few hours, so we'll see what happens. Um, and just a little side note how do you guys feel about working on trash day? I absolutely hate it. There's nowhere to park. Um, and it's just a pain in the neck. So let's take a look. Got trash trucks all over the place, trash cans all over the place. It's, uh, it's a pain. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. like we have some baby bunnies so uh, I'll show you
we'll be careful and go around them. So, just go around them, all right? If you see him, tell him. All right.
Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk to you about the rabbits that we ran into today. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that no rabbits got hurt today. Um, but uh, I also wanted to shed some light on uh, that whole scenario of running into wild animals uh, on properties. Um, so every landscaper out there has probably had a horror story or two or three where they've uh, accidentally uh, hurt animals. It's a part of it. Uh, after a little while, you learn what to look for. Uh, so with rabbits in particular, there are some telltale signs uh, that there might be a rabbit's nest around. So usually, um, before you ever find a rabbit's nest, you'll see a rabbit just hovering around in the yard that refuses to leave. Um, and most of the time, when you see rabbits, they just run away. But if you see a rabbit that is refusing to leave, sticking around, you know, you want to be on the lookout and look for uh, anything weird in the grass. Usually, if the grass is long, that's when you run into rabbits but i've seen uh rabbits nests in well manicured lawns uh as well so uh some signs that you might want to look for are um tufts of grass that are um in the lawn that shouldn't be there uh scratch marks like where the grass is gouged out um they're usually signs that a rabbit is making a nest or has made a nest. Uh, and, you know, if you see something like that, just take the time to go and check it out. You guys saw uh, my guy, Anthony. He, uh, he knows what to look for. He saw the nest and he got my attention. I came and checked it out. There were two rabbits in that nest and... Uh, I'm happy to say that they didn't get injured. We went around them um, and we went along with our day. So uh, if you guys have any questions about that or if anybody else has any experiences with uh, other animals and w different scenarios of what to look for, please just leave it in the comments below. Uh, just trying to help other people out, maybe some a beginner that uh, has never seen rabbits in a yard, you know, it's always the worst uh, if you don't know what to look for and you have that happen to have one of those horror stories. So I'm not going to go into any details about uh, any of my horror stories, but um, just, you know, I just wanted to help somebody out uh, in the future. So thanks a lot.